Tom Holland reveals he's been sober for over a year and opens up about how his most recent project helped him to recognize his own triggers. Tom Holland and Zendaya have always stolen the spotlight with their heart-melting romance, but now they're making headlines with their unconventional yet bold life choices. Nowadays, when drinking has become a trend and a lifestyle than just a passing pleasure, the younger generation feels the weight of conformity. But amidst all this, Zendaya and Tom defy the norm. They are standing strong against the allure of fame's darker side. Zendaya has made her stance on alcohol quite public. Now her boyfriend Tom, too, has spoken up. His revelation has sent shockwaves across the globe. Curious to know what they had to say? Keep watching. Welcome back to our channel, guys. Before we go into the juicy revelations of Tom and Zendaya, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications to get updates every time we post a new video. With that out of the way, let's get back to the video. Tom Holland recently disclosed that he had been sober for one year and four months. Holland confessed, I've overcome alcohol addiction. I have given up on drinking for one year and four months. The actor previously said he was always intoxicated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Tom shared the private milestone during an interview with Entertainment Weekly during the promotion of his upcoming Apple TV Plus series, The Crowded Room. Holland told the outlet that working on the show in which he plays an antisocial young man apprehended after a shooting provoked him to reconsider his mental health. Learning about mental health and the power of it and speaking to psychiatrists about the characters, Danny and Billy's struggles, has been something that has been so informative to my own life. He said, pointing out that he had become better at recognizing triggers and stress-inducing matters in situations, such as social media. Well, that is not a surprise now, is it? Social media has injected its venom into normal people and celebrities alike. Even though the movie positively influenced his mental well-being in a few ways, Tom summed up that heavy subject matter reflected upon him at times. I'm no stranger to the physical aspects of the job, doing the whole action movie thing, but the mental aspect it really beats me up and it took me a long time to recover afterwards, to sort of get back to reality," he admitted. Holland recalled one particular moment during the acting when he felt an intense need to distance himself from the character after nine months of shooting. Based on his understanding, he continued, I hope viewers will have more respect and empathy for those who are struggling with mental health issues, adding, I hope people will be well educated on the power of mental health, our struggles, and our amazing ability to survive. I was seeing myself in him, but in my personal life, he explained. I remember having a bit of a meltdown at home and thinking, like, I'm gonna shave my head, I need to shave my head because I need to get rid of this character. And obviously, we were mid-shooting, so I decided not to. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Although Tom didn't specify what substance he's refraining from, he had formally joked about wanting to take a break from alcohol during an April 2020 virtual appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Holland spoke with Kimmel and Jimmy Kimmel Live, the late-night host, that he and his three friends with whom he was quarantining were drunk all the time over video chat. Holland also told Kimmel he had managed to be a little bit productive and had done some really good work on the script that he and his friend Harry had been working on. I've been playing a lot of PlayStation, Holland added, and watching a lot of films and catching up on film history and like I said, drinking a lot. I actually said this weekend that I was going to stop drinking for a week, Holland told Kimmel. I was going to have a week off and then literally Monday morning I've got my own prop. Ryan Reynolds sent me a case of gin. Literally, literally. I was like, morning, I'm not drinking. The whole week, I'm not drinking at all. And then literally, the doorbell rang and there was a case of gin from lovely Ryan, so I think we'll have to drink that. Kimmel joked that Reynolds' presence was Deadpool attempting to corrupt our beloved Spider-Man. While Holland read out the message bound from the package sent from Reynolds, it says, some friendly neighborhood spider gin. Love, Ryan. Tom's other half Zendaya too has an interesting but healthy relationship with alcohol. During her 21st birthday, she posted a realistic and important write-up on her website related to the matter. Today, I turn 21. Holla, she wrote. But just because I'm now the legal drinking age doesn't mean I'm going to start throwing them back. I don't start to plan drinking. My life is too stressful to need help with relaxing by having a cocktail. This industry is way too nuts for me to not be in control of myself and my decisions. So, I just don't want to 
introduce drinking. Plus, I don't want drinking to become a vice. Why try something if you don't need it? Having starred in Bruno Mars' Versace in the Floor music video, Zendaya expanded on her no drink policy, telling fashion magazine that she won't be peer pressured into drinking unless it's on her terms, despite the temptations of Hollywood. Anytime I've ever done something to please somebody else or make other people happy or do what I think other people want me to do, it always blows up in my face, and it's bullsh. That's some hardcore willpower, Zendaya. We're so proud of you as an individual and our role model. Zendaya's decisions make a critical point. In deciding not to drink on our birthday when everybody anticipates that you should, Zendaya is showing that her own choices offset cultural assumptions. Even though no one should be held accountable for the choices they make regarding their own lives, Zendaya is demonstrating her self-assurance, which is powerful. Zendaya also announced her annual birthday project, which will focus on providing assistance to those impacted by Hurricane Harvey rather than drinking. With the devastation of Hurricane Harvey, I knew what this year's birthday project had to be. I called my friends at Convoy of Hope to help. Here's how you can get involved too. No contribution is too small and it's super easy to help. Text or go online now to donate. She wrote for the video Instagram post, All hail Queen Zendaya and our heart of gold. She is definitely someone we can all look up to. Tom Holland, just like his better half, is a good role model to today's youngsters. Tom and Zendaya are the most unproblematic couple in Hollywood right now. They've always supported each other in their respective life choices, so it's wholesome to see them both take on healthy life choices. Aren't they truly the it couple? The Brit School alum has had sweetheart Zendaya close by all through his restraint process. In September 2021, the co-stars made their Instagram debut, ending years of dating rumors. My MJ, have the happiest of birthdays. Give me a call when you're up XXX. Holland captioned an Instagram mirror selfie of the couple at the time. Zendaya later commented, calling now with the heart emoji. Oh, so cute. Don't their sweet interactions just give you butterflies? In November 2022, Us Weekly was told, exclusively by a source, that the couple's relationship appears serious and permanent. The insider continued, they're both in settling down mode and are absolutely planning for a real future together. The most recent update of the lives of the power couple is that despite walking the red carpet separately, the couple went to Mumbai together last month to celebrate the opening of the Nita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center. Zendaya shared pictures of her glamorous look for the 2023 NAACP Image Awards on Instagram in February. Holland left three heart eye emojis in the comment section of his sweetheart's post. Aw, so cute. What do you think about Tom's decision to remain sober? What are your thoughts on Zendaya being a teetotaler? Tell us in the comment section down below. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, for more updates on Tom and Zendaya, the internet's it couple, subscribe to the channel and push the bell icon for instant notifications. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye. So I, uh, hello. hello. So I, um. <laughs> Me and you are like this today. Oh my, it's definitely, you'd have to take avocados. Yeah. <laughs> That's great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing, we're doing good.